Rory McIlroy opted to sit out the opening PGA Tour event of the season at the Century last week, and will instead kick off his campaign on the DP World Tour in Dubai. Rory McIlroy will tee it up at the inaugural Dubai Invitational this week to begin his 2024 campaign on the DP World Tour. The PGA Tour got underway last week at the Century, where Chris Kirk won by a single shot over 59 of the best players on the American circuit. McElroy was the only celebrity who met the requirements for the signature event, but he declined the invitation. The Northern Irishman's decision to skip the tournament in Hawaii did not come as a surprise to many, with McElroy usually opting to begin his year on the DP World Tour's Middle Eastern swing. He headlines the first ever Dubai Invitational taking place at Dubai Creek Resort, but will also be joined by a number of other top European names, as well as McElroy. Two of his Ryder Cup teammates in Tommy Fleetwood and Nikolai Hodgegaard have also entered the event. Fleetwood's decision to begin his year with the DP World Tour is one that makes sense, with the Englishman now residing in the Middle East. Elsewhere the second half of Fleetwood's iconic 2018 Ryder Cup, Mollywood, partnership, Francesco Molinari, will also be in action in Dubai. He headlines the first-ever Dubai Invitational taking place at Dubai Creek Resort, but will also be joined by a number of other top European names. Along with McElroy, Nikolai Hodgegaard and Tommy Fleetwood, two of his Ryder Cup teammates, have also registered for the competition. Fleetwood's decision to begin his year with the DP World Tour is one that makes sense, with the Englishman now residing in the Middle East. Elsewhere the second half of Fleetwood's iconic 2018 Ryder Cup, Mollywood, partnership, Francesco Molinari, will also be in action in Dubai. As will Nikolai Hodgegaard's twin brother Rasmus, who already has four tour wins to his name at the age of 22. One of the tour's top players in 2023, Adrian Moronk will also be in action at the Creek Resort, four months after agonizingly missing out on a spot in Luke Donald's Ryder Cup team. Unsurprisingly it is McElroy who heads into the first event of the year as tournament favorite. The Northern Irishman will be looking for a fresh start in 2024, after his 2022 and 2023 seasons were dominated by the off-course saga surrounding the PGA Tour and Live Golf. The Northern Irishman found himself at the center of the dispute between the two tours, emerging as one of Liv's biggest critics. Heading into the new year though, McElroy appears to have taken a different approach to the Saudi-backed league with a proposed merger between the rival tours looming. I think at this point, I was maybe a little judgmental of the guys who went to live golf at the start, and I think it was a bit of a mistake on my part because I now realize that not everyone is in my position or in Tiger Woods's position, McElroy told Stick to Football. We all turn professionals to making a living playing the sports that we do, and I think that's what I realized over the last two years. If there is anything I regret, it's probably being too critical of others from the beginning because I can't judge them for their choice.